beyond the Andes. That was the theme of, of this demonstration. So we are using now a, a nice grouper. Pia is going to make the, the tiger's milk, which is very important uh, for Peruvians. We eat tiger's milk everywhere. Um, tiger's milk we, we use for to make ceviche. Yeah. Um, we use the onions. Some celery. Gar garlic. Ginger. You know this type of food has been uh, um, probably uh, inspired of, uh, by, by Japanese because we had this influence of, of Japanese in, in, in Peru. So uh, you can see about the, the, the way we treat the fish, you know, with lots of respect. You know, a hundred years ago, my, uh, you, you were, if you had a ceviche in Peru, the fish had to be cooked for five hours, six hours, like in, in the liquid. We, we call it cooked with the acidity. But nowadays, we just add the fish uh, with the liquid. We, we mix for one minute, two minutes. So and that's a, a Japanese influence, of course. So P is going very very quick with the, with the tiger's meal. With the, the best way to respect the herb and respect the all, all ingredients uh, is to add this type of herb at the end. And just one what we call a heat watching. What we do is just kind of shake or move the the the, the, ají, the chili in this liquid. So after we have this 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 liquid with uh, a good amount of acidity we just add a, a paste of chili pepper, yeah? We call it ají amarillo, and which is this one, the one you try. So what we do is, we have chilies like this, yeah? A big, a big chili, like, I'll show you with this. We have big, big uh, chilies like this, uh, yellow, and we, we open them like this. Then we remove the seeds. All the seeds. And once we have like petals like this, we blanch this three times to remove the, the you know the spiciness, the, the hot stuff. And once we, we blanch three times, we remove the skin just for the texture because we really want a very, very like, delicate paste. And uh, we blend and we add some lit, uh, a few drops of, of uh, olive oil just to, to get this like creamy and, you know, with a, a shiny, yeah, shiny texture, some texture nice. So we have this tiger's milk. The, this is the real taste of, if you want to taste Peru, this is the, the a sip of this is just true, yeah. Lima, the coast, yeah. The thing is, we add this fruit, yeah, to get to get to the Amazonas area, yeah. So we're using a, a technique from from the coast uh, and an Amazonian ingredients. Uh, you know chia, right? Chia seeds, yeah. Okay. What we do is, we take this. Uh, this passion fruit, we just remove all the seeds. Uh, we get the, the the juice, and we kind of mix the, the the juice with the seeds of chia. So we end up with something like this.
sense of place of being in between the Andes and the Amazonas. So we use the ingredients that we find there. Some herbs which are like, you know, like we are in the Amazonas, so we need to use green stuff. <laughs> 